Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again for your gentleman tip of the day. What we're gonna do today is we talked about beards. You see I'm growing my beard in. When I finish, it's gonna be black. It's already gray. But I wanna grow it out fuller before I dye it. But one of the secrets I use in growing a healthy beard is brushing it. So once it starts growing, you want to brush your hair. And remember we talked about pseudofolliculitis barbae. By now you should have your hair under control. If you still have your hair bumps and you can't control them, see your dermatologist. They can come up with other ways to help you out as well. But you want to brush it. Now, <clears throat> even though I'm trying to grow my beard, seems kind of odd, but you got to trim them to make sure it grows. So you at least got to do it one time. I at least do it one time because when my hair grows out, it grows out sharp. So you do this so that it knocks off just the, the edges of it and make it hard. I mean, straight across so it won't go back in your face. And what I have here, um, just regular clippers, wall clippers. You can buy these <clears throat> at any Walmart or beauty supply store. Make sure you have the adjustable heads on where you can turn it. So I turn it all the way down so I can make the teeth come all the way up. That means it won't cut no closer than that. Then what I do, I digress. Before you begin, make sure you have a towel or a shirt. I like to use an old shirt. My wife uses towels for her beauty stuff. I use my old shirt. So I lay it down over the sink or the counter to protect the hairs. That'll save on arguments later, trust me. <laughs> Even if you have a, a double vanity sink, it's still safe because if your side is dirty, arguments. You don't want to go there with your spouse. So ladies and gentlemen, I lay that down to catch my hairs. Afterwards, I take it outside, shake it out. I'm good to go. But right now what you do is after you brush, you take your clippers, make sure the teeth is all the way down, and then you just go over it. As you see, even though I'm cutting the hair, it's not taking it all the way off. Every once in a while, I like to check it to make sure it's still all the way down because you don't want to mess up because the lower you cut it, you have to cut all your hair that way. Don't worry about the shape up right now. Right now, you want to get the hair to grow in. Sometimes you need a professional barber to have them start your line off right. But you don't need a barber to clean it up a little bit. So see, yeah, that's nice and clean. Again, I have my trusty toothbrush and I clean them off. You gotta make sure your clippers are clear. And then I go through again and make sure I have it all. See, another thing that's happened, what happens when you do this, you can train your hair. By brushing it. The 
Okay, see now it's nice and smooth out. I feel it now where I did get all those sharp hairs. Mm -hmm. Again, don't worry about edging up around here and everything because you do that later on once the beard come out fully. You gotta go through what I call the doodle stage. This is the doodle stage right now. Kind of how to go through the doodle stage when you have a job, but when you don't have one, <laughs> like me, you can just go ahead and stay in the doodle stage as long as you want. But as you see, as you watch these videos, my beard is gonna grow fuller and turn them blacker and be more defined. So, after you do, <clears throat> do your beard, again, like I said, you go ahead and you use your clippers. You gotta clean them off. And when you finish, that's right, Andy's. You got a cool care. You gotta put that on there to keep it from um, um, rusting. Look at that pow, pow. That's why I gotta do three because you got three. And I like to move it up and down a little bit. Then you hit the back side. And then what I do is, just like if you was putting grease in your hair, you gotta brush it or comb it. You put oil on your blade, you gotta brush it. Make sure it gets all in your hand. You're cleaning that as well. And that is today's tip. I'm making sure you smooth out the sharp edges of your hairs to prevent pseudophilicolitis barbae. I hope you learned something today. I hope you use it. I hope you have fun with it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your tip for the day. If you don't have clippers, go get you some today. <laughs>